Since my last video was about the things that I don't buy as a minimalist, I thought I'd make a contrast video talking about the things I do buy or buy more of as a minimalist. Everything on this list has a purpose and for the most part is very thought out before I spend money on it. So the very first thing on this list is groceries. And as obvious as this one might sound, I'm actually surprised to find out how many people do in fact eat out for every meal. This is in direct contrast to my last video where I talk about I go out to eat a lot less as a minimalist. That money now goes to groceries, which turns out is a lot less expensive than eating out once or even twice a day. I buy my groceries very mindfully, buying ingredients to cook meals rather than things that keep me just snacking throughout the day. This helps me stick to a diet that I try not to deviate from and knowing I have food at home keeps me from stopping somewhere or pulling in a drive-thru. I had a gift card. I recently started baking my own bread and breaking down the cost of the ingredients. It's only costing me about 50 cents a loaf and it tastes a lot better. Cooking for myself definitely gives me a sense of accomplishment. Maybe it's the reward of all the work you just put in. Definitely a practice worth knowing. Next is better quality products. In his book, Essentialism, Greg McKeown mentions the concept of the vital few versus the trivial many. He uses this term in decision making, but I think this philosophy can be applied to the money we spend and the quality of the products that we're buying. Now for me, being a minimalist isn't always opting for the most affordable or the cheapest option of something. In fact, sometimes it means the opposite. There are a few things I refuse to cheap out on, especially if it will save me money in the long run. I've mentioned before how I'm not too careful with the things I own. So for me personally, it makes sense to only buy things that are going to have a long lifespan. Without getting too specific, here are a few things I refuse to cheap out on. Emergency items because the last thing you want in an already stressful situation is something that is more likely to malfunction. General health items like first aid and medicine. Work equipment because having gear I know my income relies on gives me better peace of mind. These are just to name a few. If spending a few more dollars on something means it's gonna outlast its cheap counterpart, it might be worth it. Going off better quality products, this leads me into reusable products. Once I started focusing in on areas I can live a little bit more simply, I found out that I did use a lot of single-use items or disposables that I didn't really need to. A few examples are water bottles, plastic bags, and of course, masks. I went over water bottles in my last video and how it saved me a solid amount of money since I've had this reusable bottle for the past four years or so. Plus, helping the environment always feels nice. There's a reusable counterpart for almost everything disposable nowadays, and I'm really trying my best to avoid single-serve anything at this point. Next is travel and experiences. One of my goals on this minimalism journey is to be able to travel more frequently and efficiently. By implementing these frugal spending habits into my life, I'll have more opportunities to travel, assuming the pandemic allows it. I'm in the process of getting my Italian citizenship, which requires me to spend money on applications and documents. I know that in the long run, it'll be worth it and it'll help me reach my goal of being able to travel more, which makes me okay spending money on it. I've never regretted a single trip I've taken anywhere. And that's not something I can say about material possessions. Those are just a few things that I buy more of as a minimalist. I hope this list and the reasoning behind these purchases brought you some value and maybe inspire you to make some changes as far as the things that you spend your money on. Anyways, I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video and you want more minimalism content, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.